This is my friend KK's room. She's nine. It's an awesome room, but she's got a little problem. She put up some photos of her favorite hockey team over here on this wall, and they all fell down. She tried using suction cups, scotch tape, and blue tack to do it, and I think that's where she went wrong. So this week, in this video, I'm gonna help her out. I'm gonna take all of her fasteners and replace them with new fasteners that hopefully will hold these photos up for way longer. So if that sounds good, stay with me till the end. For now, let's get going. So the goal is to make these awesome photos stay up. And it looks like at first what KK tried to do, which is a valiant effort, no doubt, she tried to connect this piece of paracord to two suction cups that she hoped would hold the cord up as well as the weight of all the photos. That didn't happen. She also tried to secure the photos to the paracord using scotch tape, also didn't work. And lastly, some of the photos she tried to use blue tack to stick to the wall. A lot of people go that route. In this case, the blue tack didn't hold the photos up and it left behind this nasty residue. Her mom tried to get it off. I mean, a lot of effort went into getting this blue tack off the wall and nothing worked. So I think that's where I'm gonna start. First job, get rid of the blue tack. Now, normally, if you're trying to get rid of blue tack, you just get a big ball of blue tack, something like this, and roll it over the old blue tack. Generally speaking, the big ball of blue tack is stickier than the wall, so in theory, you should be able to suck the old blue tack off by pushing and smushing and rolling and eventually sort of cajoling the old blue tack off the wall. I was kind of surprised, but it didn't work. The way this particular company's blue tack mates with this particular porous paint, it just did not like coming off the easy way. So I had to come up with something else. Something that dissolves blue tack residue is Goo Gone. That worked quite easily, but there were two problems with it. One, it left behind kind of an oily residue on the wall. I tried in an inconspicuous spot and I was rather disappointed. Also, it's pretty toxic. And this is the room of a nine-year-old girl. And I thought, well, it's probably pretty safe. But why do it if you don't have to? If there's some other solution that doesn't involve a toxic chemical, why not try? So I mixed up some baking soda and olive oil. Three parts baking soda, one part olive oil, and I got this sort of slurry going on. And guess what? That works almost as well. I won't say it works as well. I applied it with a little Q-tip to sort of keep it centralized to the residue of the blue tack. I didn't want to smear it all over the wall because it is an oil and I knew it would leave behind some oily residue. But it did a pretty good job. It ate through the blue tack. If it didn't do it on the first try, it did it on the second. I just gave it a wipe down with some wet paper towel and then let it dry. If there was some residue left over from the olive oil, well, olive oil breaks down with soap and water, so I put some soap and water on a piece of paper towel, wiped it over the top, and eventually, after a couple of passes, a couple of attempts, I got back down to the wall. Anywhere where I had a little bit of stubborn residue, I used a microfiber cloth, and everything was ready to go. So now the blue tack was done, I had to tackle the photo cord. So the photo cord originally was put up with these suction cups. They didn't hold. I felt like a more mechanical solution was required, and since it sort of resembles the back of a picture frame, I went and got some of these D-rings, these picture frame hanging D-rings. I thought they were attractive enough and they were certainly gonna hold the paracord up with any number of photographs on it. There wouldn't be any question of that. No need to worry about studs in this case. Obviously it's not that heavy. Just going right into the drywall was gonna work. I didn't love the screws that came with the package. I'll put a link in the description below to the exact D-rings that I'm using here, but I chose to use my own three quarter inch screws, put them into the hole provided, screwed it into the wall, attached the paracord, and I was in business. So what what Kiki originally did was she took some scotch tape and used that to tape the photographs to the paracord. I asked her if she wanted to try some clothes pegs. She said yes. If you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know there's a soft place in my heart for a good clothes peg. I got a lot of them. I'll put a link here in case you want to see my video about clothes pegs. But yeah, I've got a few of these going here. And all I did was remove the scotch tape from the photographs and clip them onto the paracord using the clothes pegs. And now they're up and I think they're gonna stay at least a lot longer than the previous installation did. I hope KK likes it. Finally, there are a few things that were put up with blue tack and they're still holding. I chose to leave those just where they were. KK put them right where she wants them. I'm not messing with it. But if they do fall down like the other items fell, my recommendation is not to use blue tack at all. Cleaning up this mess was a bit of a time consuming adventure and I'd really rather not do that again. In the film and television industry, we never use blue tack, but we often tack stuff up onto the wall or onto a table. We use something that we call snot tape. I've got a video for it. I'll put a link to it here if you wanna see how that works. But I would recommend to anybody who's thinking about going the blue tack route for anything, consider snot tape, which is 
sort of a clear butyl. I find it's way stronger, way more reliable, not permanent, but way more reliable than blue tack. And since it's clear, it doesn't have the same kind of problems with staining the wall that I've had here with this blue tack. So I'll leave a little bit of that with KK and her mom, in case these guys fall down. They can get rid of the old blue tack and replace it with some snot tape and hopefully have a little more luck. And with that, KK's hockey photos are back in place. So how about you guys? How would you have helped out KK? What would you have done to put these photos back up? Do you have any tips, any ideas? Have you ever done something like this yourself? I wanna hear all about your experiences. Leave those in the comments section below and I'd be really grateful. And that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching until the end. And as always, take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects. And I'll see you next Saturday.